Hi everyone, I am here with my January favorites video. Um, January is now my favorite month just because of the weather and especially in Toronto this year. It was just really miserable. We had several snowstorms. The weather is just not good at all. But uh, what I like about January is that a lot of stuff are on sale. I actually did a little bit shopping in January. If you guys want to see a haul video, please let me know. Mostly they are discounted designer stuff. I got some really really good deals. So anyways, let's begin with my January favorites video. The first thing I've been obsessed with, I've been using most of the time, it's my Naked 3 palette. This is what it looks like. Honestly, I when I got it, I just got it because I have Naked 1 and 2 and the basic. Thought I would just buy this to complete my collection. But I actually really, really enjoy this palette. And uh, I'm sure you guys see all the shades. There are tons of reviews on them. I've been really, really loving these. They Mostly, they have a pink undertone. So it looks great in January when everything is so cold. It adds um, a little bit warmth to my makeup, if I make any sense. And my favorite shade is Black Heart. It's this one and Limit. Limit is um, this one. Limit, it's a perfect color on the crease. It's just really, really nice. And the quality, of course. Like, I think Urban Decay makes really, really good eyeshadows. I've been really loving this. If you guys want to see a tutorial or anything like that, please leave a comment down below. The, the second makeup item that I have been obsessed with is this Chanel lip gloss. This is what it looks like. It's from their uh, summer and spring collection. This color is just a really nice uh, watermelon color, I guess. Uh, this is in the color 178. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It's just, it's really natural. It doesn't feel sticky and it's really moisturizing. I'll do a swatch on my hand. This is what it looks like. I just love it. And even if sometimes I'm too lazy to put on makeup, I'll just use this to add a little bit of color on my face. So really, really lovely. Uh, this is actually my first Chanel lip gloss and I I think the quality is just really really great pigmentation same as all lip glosses it won't stay on my lips all day long but it lasts a good uh, two or three hours honestly I don't mind replying them I have a foundation favorite. This usually never happens. It's really hard for me to find a really good foundation. A lot of foundation looks really cakey on my face. But this one, I've been loving it. It's the Shu Yumura, the light bulb foundation. This is what it looks like. And it comes with a uh, sponge. Say kind of same as uh, the beauty blender. If you purchase this and you get this for free, which is a really good deal. And oh my god, I love, 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 love this foundation. It's not a matte finish foundation, it adds a little bit sheen on the face. I'm wearing it right now, by the way, and um, it just it's really nice. It sits on the skin and by the way, this is my makeup in the morning and it doesn't cake. I just love it. I love the finish. Uh, when I use, oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is really dirty. But um, if, you, if you apply this foundation with the 
sponge that it comes with it just gives them such a beautiful dewy finish and whenever I'm wearing this foundation people just assume my skin got better which is not true uh, I really love it the coverage you can build it up uh, if you really want a natural finish you can just apply a little bit or you can add some coverage on the chin so I really really love this and I think it's lo a long-lasting foundation I think Ray Review did a video on this foundation this is their new product uh, this is Shu Yumura's latest foundation it's amazing honestly it's amazing it's I think one of the best foundation out there. I think it's similar to NARS Sheer Glow but this has a little bit more coverage so I've been really really loving this. Uh, it comes with a pump as well and it comes in loads of shades so that's really nice as well. Really love this. I think this is my holy grail foundation for the winter this just has a really good sheen to it. it makes my face glowing i just love 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 this foundation okay i think this is all the makeups that i've been obsessed with for fashion items i've been obsessed with this arisia coquette scarf this is what it looks like it's really 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 big I was debating if I want to get this or not I mean if you live in Canada every girl every girl in Toronto or at least somewhere it's really cold they have this scarf maybe not in this print but same uh, same style from Marissa. I was just debating. No, I I told myself, you know what, I'm not gonna get it because everyone else have it. And then I finally caved in. And you know what? I don't have any regrets because this scarf is awesome. It's really big. You can wear them in a lot of ways. And you know, during the snowstorm that we've been having, or even during really really cold winter. What I do is, I wear my coat and I'll just wrap this around my neck. It's really, really big and honestly, I can cover my face and then this is me outside and it just keeps me really warm and um, and I sometimes I wear a hat and I just my my eyes. I just need my eyes to see everything and this keeps me warm with my coat. There's a lot of ways on how to wear these or uh, during lecture I'll wear this as a shawl. It's just really easy to match with any other sweater or blouse or whatever. Um, it's just really warm and it's huge. I was thinking that you know during summer or um, I don't know summer or spring uh, I can just put this on the sofa as a blanket kind of thing because the print is just so lovely honestly the scarf is huge I'll show you guys this scarf is huge see it just it's huge it's really really big and I just love the print it's really soft I just love this and another fashion favorites that I have is this American apparel sweater honestly I, if I'm not at work I'm at school or if I'm chilling with my friends I always always wear this literally I'm not even exaggerating I, I'm living in this sweater my friend asked me um, how come every time we see you, you're always in this sweater? This is what it looks like. It's really long and it's really loose. And the sleeve is like a quarter 
sleeve. It just and it's gray and white. This is the print. I usually wear them with jeans. I'll show you guys. Or oh, I can wear this with a skirt. It's really easy to match and um it just it's really really soft and it's flowy, it's not fitted, so I'm really comfortable in this. Honestly, I love this sweater so much. If I don't know what it called, um, but I think it's one of American Apparel's best seller or something. I'm not sure, but it's just really nice and it's just very casual at the same time. It's comfortable and it's fashionable if you pair it with boots and skinny jeans. And I just, it's really nice. I've been loving this sweater. I think this is one of my favorite sweater. So the last favorite that I've been obsessed with for the month of January is my Balenciaga work. This is what it looks like this bag. Oh my god, it's so heavy. It has a lot of stuff in there and it's really big. This is what it looks like. Um, on me, so this is the classic work in black. This is what it looks like. It has a front pocket. I haven't purchased or received any big bag for a long time. I just forgot how amazing it is to throw everything in a bag. Since I came back from Paris, uh, three or four years ago, I been obsessed with smaller uh, purses or bag. I dump everything in here, and it's so convenient. I never need to decide. Oh, should I take a lipstick or a lip gloss? Should I take a coin purse or a long wallet? Um, or can I take two lipsticks and ditch my wallet? I never need to make those decisions anymore because I throw everything in here and it's just it's really lovely bag and I love it love it love it um if you guys want to see a what's in my bag winter edition please leave a comment down below and uh, or even if you guys want to see a review on this bag please let me know I will try my best to film that for you guys and uh, I received this bag from my boyfriend during Christmas. I filmed a Christmas haul. I'll link that video down below. So this is all the item that I've been obsessed with in the months of January. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already did that. Um, so that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.